school is officially in, things are crazy, so I thought I would share some back to school freezer meals. So this last weekend, we decided to go camping as a family and being 18 weeks pregnant, camping was a little harder than I expected, especially in the nighttime. But we found an amazing cave right next to us and we had a ton of fun. But before we left camping, I decided to prep all these freezer mills so next week will be a breeze. Okay, if you're ready, let's just jump right in. All right guys, the first recipe I'm making is barbacoa tacos. Mm. Now you're gonna start with a chuck roast. It's like three to four pounds that I cut up into about six to eight pieces. Then we're gonna add a lot of spices right on top of the meat. I'm gonna put them down below in the directions for you so I don't have to name them all off. But Sarah, go ahead and dump all the spices in, okay? Next you're gonna add one can of diced chilies, about three teaspoons of minced garlic. Then I'm gonna have the juice of two limes and two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. All right, Sari's gonna dump in one onion. You go ahead and dump it in. These are chipotles, chipotle peppers and adobo sauce. So I'm gonna get three of these and put them in there. There we go, so just three of them. Okay, and then about three fourths cup of beef broth. Kids are at school and Sarah is home and she likes to help me cook, huh Sarah? Yeah. Yeah. All right, and that's it. We're gonna zip it up, right? Uh-huh, could I zip it up? Um, sure. Okay. All right, you know how to do it? Good work. All right, now we're gonna show you how to cook it. Now, if you're gonna cook it in the Instant Pot, if you've cut it up into chunks like this, you only have to cook it for about 60 minutes, and then I would let it release on its own for about an hour or two. Now, if you're in a slow cooker, you're gonna go to seven to eight hours, slow, slow. Um, you don't have to change the recipe. This will work slow cooker or Instant Pot. We are ready to cook. This works best if it is thawed. If you're gonna cook it from frozen, whether you're using the Instant Pot or Slow Cooker, add an hour. Okay, we're just dumping this whole thing in. Because it's thawed, there's some liquid in there already, so we don't even have to worry about it. Go ahead and put your lid on. Make sure if you have a little knob, it's turned to ceiling. There we go, ceiling's not venting. Okay, so we're gonna push pressure cook, and then we're gonna go up to 60 minutes just because we like it nice and tender. Once you set it on this one, I can just walk away. When it's done, I let it sit here for a little bit just to get really tender. Then I'm gonna pull it out and shred it up. Then I just threw it back in because we want to get it all nice and saucy. Oh man, so you can do so many things with this, but I like mine nice and basic because there's so much flavor in this meat. So I'm gonna make two little street tacos, whoops. And then I love adding a little bit of fresh onions. I know that sounds weird, but man, if you've had some good street tacos, fresh onions are my favorite. And then just a little bit of cilantro. That's it. That is all you need for these awesome, awesome tacos. Now as I'm going through footage, I realized I forgot to rank them. So I am ranking these a five. The next recipe I'm making is called Hobo Dinners. This was originally a slow cooker, but I'm changing it into an Instant Pot, so down below in the description you'll have both slow cooker and Instant Pot. First, I am just prepping everything, so I'm cooking up one and a half pounds of meat and then chopping up all the vegetables. All right, now it's time to just dump everything in. So, we're gonna start with the ground beef. And this was a little harder than I thought, so I'm actually just going to scoop it right in. Now. I do like using these little freezer meal holders. I'll put a link down below for you. They're my favorite. Just they hold everything open so I can make a freezer meal by myself. Next it calls for six russet potatoes, but my potatoes were big so I'm just putting four in today. Next I'm gonna add all the spices. I'll put them down below in the description for you just because, yeah, it's a little easier that way. Next up is one pound of carrots. I like to get the big carrots, chop them up into small pieces. We're gonna fit them all in here. Once the carrots are in, you're gonna get some beans. Wash them first, trim the edges. Yeah, half pound of those. And last but not least, an onion. Now I like to cut it, like slice it up a little bit so you can still have a little bit of a taste of an onion. Okay, this is all we're gonna put in there right now because this, these things are safe to cook in the Instant Pot. Also, if you are going to do it in the slow cooker, I suggest doing it this way too. All right, so I am using the Instant Pot. 
Go ahead and just dump everything out of your freezer mill into your pot. Now because it is an instant pot, we need a little bit of water, so I'm just gonna add half a cup to a cup of water. We need it to pressurize. Okay, go ahead and put your lid on. There we go. If you have a little knock, make sure it's turned to ceiling, not venting. Then we're gonna go down to pressure cook and cook it just for 10 minutes. We just need to cook pretty much those potatoes and the vegetables and 10 minutes will get the job done. Okay, once we're at 10 with this Instant Pot, I don't have to push start so I can just walk away. Now if you're not making this into a freezer mill, the recipe down below is for a slow cooker. You don't even have to pre-cook your meat. You just kind of dump everything in the slow cooker and it will cook all day. The Instant Pot's a little bit different. You have to cook your meat, so cook it this way. If you're doing freezer mills in either one, I would still do it just like I showed you. All right, while we're waiting for that to finish up cooking, we're going to add one can of cream of mushroom soup to a bowl. It's a hobo dinner. You need some sort of cream of mushroom something, right? And then we're gonna do about half a cup of barbecue sauce. And then just mix that all together. Okay, when your timer's all done, you're gonna release all the pressure. All right, once all the pressure's out, you can go ahead and take off your lid. Okay, now we're gonna add our barbecue sauce and cream and mushroom soup, and then just mix this all together. Now there is a little bit of liquid in there. You can dump that out beforehand, but you don't have to. All right, got all my helpers ready to try hobo dinner. Okay, you guys ready? All right, count of three, ready? One, two, three. Mm, all right, thumbs up if it's good, thumbs down if it's bad, or middle if it's uh, middle for you, thumbs up for you. What do you think, Sarah? Thumbs up, you like it? Nice. Okay, if we're giving it a rating, I'm rating it a five, and yes, even being pregnant, it's so good. Mm -hmm. So this recipe that I'm making is called King Ranch Chicken Soup. We have a King Ranch recipe, but this one is a soup, and it's so easy to make. You're gonna write on your freezer meal bag, and then start putting everything in. Now I have Instant Pot and slow cooker, slow cooker instructions for you down below in the description. But today we're doing Instant Pot because you guys know it's my favorite. You're gonna start by putting three or four chicken breasts into the bottom of your freezer meal bag. Next, I'm gonna throw in the spices. Yeah, all the spices are down below for you because there's quite a bit. So the next thing you need is a red pepper and a green pepper and an onion. Here's the problem. Pulled out my stuff, they were a little moldy. My bad. So I had a fajita mix that has red peppers, green peppers, and onions mixed with, yeah. There's not as many, but that's okay. So I have my red peppers and green peppers, and I cut up a jalapeno, not a ton of jalapeno, because my kids don't love the heat, but I like the flavor, so. Didn't cut it, put in any seeds, just jalapeno, peppers, and onions. Okay, next I'm gonna add a can of diced tomatoes and green chilies, just pour that right on top. And the last thing is four cups of chicken broth. You can add this now or you can add it when you're ready to cook. But I'm gonna do it now so I don't have to think about it later. Now you're just gonna go ahead and sip it on up. All right, pulled out my Instant Pot. Now this is obviously thawed right now, but if it was frozen, you would cook it for 25 minutes in your Instant Pot or you would go about six to eight hours in your slow cooker. So I'm gonna take this because it's all thawed, my chicken's kind of thick, so we're gonna cook it for 20 minutes. All right, you're gonna put the lid on. Make sure if you have a little knob, turn to ceiling. Then we're gonna push pressure cook and then go up to 25 minutes. Nope, 20, 20, like I said, <laughs> 20 minutes. When the timer's all done, you're gonna go ahead and release all that pressure. While the pressure is releasing, I'm gonna go ahead and add four tablespoons of butter and about two teaspoons or so of minced garlic. Just gonna put that in there. Mix this around till all the butter is melted, and then we're gonna add a little bit of flour. Butter is all melted, garlic smells amazing. We're gonna add about a fourth cup of flour. Now, the recipe calls for whole wheat flour. I just can't find my whole wheat flour right now, so I'm using white flour and it will be just fine too. So we're gonna cook this for about a minute. All right, it's looking good. We're gonna go ahead and pull this off. Now all the pressure should be out of the Instant Pot, so we're just gonna add this to it. So I'm gonna hurry and quickly pull out the chicken, and we're gonna shred this 
after the chicken's pulled out, then we're gonna add our, our little uh, mixture that we cooked up. We're just going to dump this right in. We want to thicken up this soup. And add a little garlic too. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, now to thicken it up, we're gonna go ahead and push cancel, and then we're gonna push saute. So we're gonna let this saute while we shred up the chicken. All right, shredded all the chicken, threw it back in, and we're just gonna let this thicken up a little bit. Okay, it is time to put it into the soup bowl. And then on top of this, because it is, you know, king chicken, we of course need some cheese. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of cilantro too. I love cilantro on my king chicken. So I added this at the end because my some of my kids don't love cilantro, but I could eat it for every meal, especially when I'm pregnant. <laughs> okay, Ansley, what do you think of this soup? Thumbs up, thumbs down? Thumbs up, definitely. You wanna give it a star rating? Um, probably a 4.5. Oh, nice. Okay, change your mind. You're gonna try it now? Mm -hmm. All right, try a little, little bite. What do you think? Thumbs down, not a fan. Well, they weren't Sarah's favorite, but I really liked them, so I'm also gonna rank it a four and a half. All right, guys, if you love these freezer meals, please comment down below what kind of freezer meals you wanna see, and I'll see you next time. Bye.